Hello, this video will show how to access the market by order data feed in Sierra Chart. The market by order data is a separate data feed that accompanies the existing Denali exchange data feed. And this data is available for the CME group, Eurex, CBOE, as well as the NASDAQ total view data feeds, which are all part of the Denali exchange data feed. So in this video, we're going to show how to activate this and how to get it working on your chart. So as you can see here, we have an open chart for the symbol ES, December contract. And this on the right side of the screen here is an example of what the market by order data feed looks like. So we can see every individual limit order at each price that is making up the total quantity displayed on the market depth. The green numbers in this case are showing the individual buy limit orders that make up the market depth at these prices. And the red numbers here are showing the individual limit orders that make up the asking side, the sell limit orders. Now currently Sierra chart only supports orders with a quantity of three and higher. That is why you are not seeing one and two lot orders here. Okay, so we'll just give you some background information to start. So like I said, this data feed is only available with the Denali exchange data feed and delayed exchange data feed. Now, for the NASDAQ total view symbols, this will only be available with the live real time data feed. To have access to the market by order data feed, it is limited to service package 12. So if we click on that, it'll bring us to this page right here where we can see a description of the service packages. So if you're already familiar with service packages 10 and 11, which include the fee for the Denali exchange data feed. So these are service packages that are used for real time data. Service package 12 is the equivalent of service package 11, except that it includes the market by order data feed. Another thing is that it is not supported to replay the market by order data feed like it is with the um, market depth. For example, you can download the market depth files and replay them when you use the market replay features in Sierra chart. It's not supported to do that right now with the market by order data feed. Now it is important to know that the market by order data feed is only available with the Denali exchange data feed or the delayed data feed. Um, in the case that you are using a different trading service, so in this case, you can see at the top, we're connected to Teton CME order routing. Let's go to global settings, data trade service settings. In the common settings tab, um, let's say you were connected to interactive brokers or another trading service that Sierra chart supports, but you are using the Denali exchange data feed service. This is the first setting here that of course needs to be set to yes to be receiving the Sierra chart data feeds to begin with. So that is the absolute first step to be receiving this data feed if you're using a different trading service. Now what I'm going to do is switch over to a blank chart book that has basically a simple chart here with nothing activated. Okay, so let's show how to activate this. We will do this by going to global settings, Sierra chart server settings. Now in this menu right here, there are two settings that need to be set to yes. By default, they are not set to yes. These are the two settings. Subscribe market by order data when market depth subscribe set it to yes. Second thing, use separate connection for market by order data, set it to yes as well. Once you have changed those both to yes, click apply and okay. Now at this point, you will need to disconnect and reconnect to the data feed. So you can do that by selecting file disconnect or control F11 and then file connect to data feed to reconnect. Now the next thing you might need to do is go into your chart settings. So select chart and chart settings or press F5 on your keyboard. And we will scroll down this menu until we find the global symbol settings. So I'm going to select edit global symbol settings from this menu right here. And this will bring us to the symbol settings for the symbol that was on our chart. In this case, it was the symbol ES 
the first thing that you might need to do is update the symbol settings from the server. So you can select update from server. That's the first thing. And then you'll see that the data feed will disconnect and reconnect by itself. Now you might not need to do that, but that's just an additional step. Okay, now we'll scroll down this menu until we find the setting for the market by order data. So this setting right here called minimum market by order quantity, by default, it's set to zero, but actually it's set to three because the lowest possible order quantity that the market by order data supports is an order quantity of three. You will not see any orders lower than three. Now, what this setting does is if you want to filter out limit orders above a certain quantity. So for example, if you only wanted the market by order data to display limit orders of 50 and above, you would put a 50 here. In that case, you would be filtering out the larger orders and you would only see limit buy orders or limit sell orders of the quantity 50 and above, okay? So right now, I'll set this to 10 just for an example, okay? I'll select okay to exit this menu and apply it and okay to exit that. The next thing we need to do is activate the market by order columns on our chart. So as you can see right now, this is just a vanilla chart. There are no market data columns activated here. There are two ways you can do this. The first way would be by selecting trade, trading chart DOM on. That's the first way to access the market data columns. The second way to activate the market data columns without enabling chart trading mode would be this setting right here, show market data columns. So I will select this option. Now you can see on the right side of the chart, we have two market data columns that have appeared, which in this case are the bid quantity and the ask quantity for the market. The next thing that we need to do is add in the market by order data columns. So let's go ahead and select trade and then customize chart trade DOM columns. I would recommend assigning this one to a keyboard shortcut in the case that you do a lot of back and forth, like if you open the menu a lot and close it. So I'll select that. Okay, now in this menu, there are three columns that can show the market by order data. One that shows the buy limit orders in its own column, one that shows the sell limit orders in its own column, and one column that will combine the two into a single column. So I've selected the combined option. So combined bid ask market orders column, and I will add it in by pressing this arrow key here and I will apply it. And now you can see that the column has been added on the right side of our chart. Now we will need to resize that. So let's exit this menu temporarily. And now at the top of your trading chart or trading chart DOM, um, when you hover your mouse, you'll see these little separators and that's where you have to click and drag to adjust the resizing width for each column. For example, if I do it here, I will be resizing the ask depth column, but in this case, I want to resize that column. So I've resized it so I can see all of the orders. The next thing I will do is just resize the scale range so we can actually see these numbers. Now, if you recall, we actually changed the minimum quantity from zero to 10, but you're still seeing three here. The reason for that is because we have not disconnected and reconnected to the data feed. So I will do that now and you'll see how those quantities change. So I've disconnected and reconnected. And now because we have changed the minimum market by order quantity to 10, you can see we're only seeing individual limit orders of 10 and above. So there's a lot less numbers here. So now what we can do is actually resize that again. Okay, the next thing you would probably want to do is adjust the um, centering of these numbers. So I will go back into the customized chart trade DOM columns window and I will change the alignment to left. When you set the alignment to left, the orders on the leftmost here are the ones that are first in the queue. If you set the alignment to right, then the queue position will be aligned that way. Now the number of levels for your market by order data will match the maximum allowed levels 
um, that you've allowed in the CR chart server settings. So that is done here in global settings, CR chart server settings. And now let's say, for example, I wanted to increase the maximum depth levels to, I don't know, 50 or 100. I'll just change it to 50, apply it. And again, in order to apply this change, I will have to disconnect and reconnect the data feed. So I'll do that again, control F11 and then F11 on the keyboard, let it reconnect. And now you should see more market depth levels as well as more market by order depth levels. Okay, now if you adjusted the market depth levels on your chart in the chart settings, that will not affect the market by order data. So I'll just show how to do that. F5 to enter the chart settings, market depth, maximum market depth levels. Let's say I only showed five levels. You can see that does not impact the market by order data because that is a separate data feed and it's controlled in the Sierra chart server settings. Okay, the last thing I will add here is that it is possible to access the market by order values um, using the ACS IL programming language and access those orders one by one. And the new function is this one right here, sc.getask market limit orders for price. All right, that's gonna cover this video about the CR chart market by order data feed. Thank you for watching.